today I'm going to show you how to make video games with love. By the end of the video, we'll have a shooty game with a player, an enemy, and a score. Let's get started. First, go to love2d.org and get love for your platform. If you run love by itself, you'll see this no game screen. We need to make a game for love to load. So, go to the Love2D wiki, click on getting started. It says we need a main.lua file. We're using ZeroBrain for this video. Create a directory for the game. Create a main.lua file in it. Put your player sprite in it. Open ZeroBrain. Switch the project directory to the folder we created. Let's dive in. Start with the three core love functions. Love.load, love.update, and love.draw. We'll come back to these in a bit. Now let's create some global variables as shortcuts for getting the window dimensions. Then we'll declare some local variables. We know we're going to need the player, the enemy, we'll increase the enemy's speed over time. We definitely need bullets, and lastly, a score. Now let's work on the player. Let's load that image I dragged in earlier. Then make a function to define the player, and then spawn the player object. Let's do the same for the enemy. Since the enemy will spawn off screen and move toward the player from any direction, let's get a random angle and set the enemy's position to the cosine and sine of that angle. Give it a radius and a speed. The speed will be incremented by speed boost. Now let's make the function that will start or restart the game. We'll call it initialize. And here we'll spawn a player, make a new table for bullets. You'll see why we do that in a second. Set speed boost back to zero, create a new enemy and set the score back to zero. We'll call this function in love.load. Let's now get our player moving just to make sure things are working. The magic happens in love.update, which runs every CPU tick. In love.update, let's add aiming. The player will look at the position of the mouse. Let's draw the player so we can see what's happening. Now go to Project Run or press F5 or F6. Yep, that's working. Now let's get the player moving. We'll use W, A, S, and D. Let's check that. Yep, that's working. Now let's shoot stuff. Create a function called shoot. What happens when we shoot? We'll create a bullet. The bullet starts at the position of the player and it moves in the direction the player is facing. What happens to bullets when they hit the enemy or when they go off screen? We want to get rid of them, so we need to track all of the bullets so that we know which ones to get rid of and when. We do that with the bullets table that we set in the initialize function. Every bullet that is created is inserted into this table. How do we know when a bullet hits the enemy, or when the enemy hits the player? Everything in the game happens to be circles. So, go to the internet and search for Circle Circle Collision. Copy and paste that formula. It wants the position and radius of two circles, so we pass those in and return true or false. We also want to detect if a bullet goes out of frame. We'll call this out of bounds. Give it the position of a bullet and compare that position to the edges of our window and return true or false. If a bullet hits an enemy, things should happen. We'll make a function called scored. When you score, the enemy should get faster, a new enemy should spawn, and the score should go up. Let's get that enemy to chase the player now. In love.update, we define the parameters dx and dy and use atan2 again to get the angle. Then we adjust the enemy's position using the cosine and sine of that angle. Let's draw the enemy now. 
then run the game and check on everything. Looks good, but nothing happens when the enemy hits the player. Let's just restart the game if that happens. Let's run it again to check. It restarts when the enemy hits the player. Let's get the bullets working now. Add a love.keypressed function. And let's use the spacebar to fire bullets. Back in love.update, loop through the bullets table, move them in the direction of the player's rotation. If a bullet hits an enemy, destroy it and call the scored function. If a bullet goes out of bounds, destroy it. Let's draw the bullets now to check if they work. Looks good. Okay, now draw the score. Okay, that's working. We can change the name of the game to create a file called comp.lua and add this function like so. And we're done. So much more can be added to this project. There's going to be a link in the description to the code. I encourage you to take this project further. Thanks for watching.